just 3-0 and in your career and you're about to make your UFC debut. I mean, did you ever in a million years see, you know, this quick path to the UFC? Bro, no way. You know, like, to be honest, I had like a couple of years. I was thinking maybe at the end of next year, that was like my goal. But, man, they just came knocking after my last fight. And I was like, damn, I'll take it, bro, 100%. Well, just say, what's the conversation like? I mean, when they come, I, I, I can see the argument, hey, let's take a little time, let's get a yeah, little yeah. bit more experience. But at the same time, yeah. when they come calling, they come calling, right? Yeah. So what, what was the, the, the conversation like? Well, the thing was like, um, I finished my fight and then I went and took my way out, like my partner and my son's Bali. And then I get a phone call, you know, someone's like, hey, I think the UFC are interested in you. And I was like, what the heck? Not once did I ever like plead, you know, because a lot of people are like, right now, they, they get to social media and they're like, Put their last name for UFC hashtag or whatnot, but for me, I think they came at, came like looking for me and stuff. Man, I was just like, sweet. They wanted me on the contenders originally, and then they ended up bump, bumping me onto the card, man. So I was just like, oh, oh man, I'll take it. So then, not only are you making UFC debut, but you're doing it in front of potentially you know sixty thousand people in the yeah, stadium. Bro. What's what's that feeling like? Man, I I've been blessed to, to walk out Mark Mark Hunt, you know, and and I remember. Before one of his cards, I saw Izzy, you know, like I saw Israel, and he was like, hey man, when you take that walk, pretend it's yourself, because in the future, you're gonna, it's any time, and I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So when Mark walked out, and you know, the reception he gets, I, 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 I took it as if it was my own, man, so once I got to the cage, I was like, man, I can do this. After that, I was like, bro, I'm definitely doing this, you know, like, I can do this walk. That's I, awesome. I can do the walk off too. So. <laughs> Mark Hunt, he's uh, been a little bit of a mentor for you in the earlier days? Yeah, 100%, you know, like, he built, built a team like four, four or five years ago and me and my younger brother were like real, real blessed to, to come on board and then Ty was on board and then Tyson was there later on and you know like the team that he's built I, I think myself, Ty, Tyson, my little brother fights in glory you know he's like a top five heavyweight in the world so man he's, he's done well man like a lot of props go to him man. What's the biggest lessons you take from our economy? Is it, is it physical, uh, tactic, your, skill or is it mental? Keep your guard up. Nah. <laughs> Um, mentally, yeah, he's 100% the mental game. That guy, man, he's got no hesitation, man. Like, you talk to him and he, you know, he might have a bad training session and then he'd be like, I'm still knocking that guy out, you know. And I was like, damn. Well, he, he, like, no matter what he'll go through, he's adamant. And I was like, damn, I need to have that same mentality. And it's really helped me, man. You know, it's interesting because you're new to the fight game, right? But you're not new to being an athlete. And you're kind of one of this new breed of these rugby. It seems like more and more rugby stars yeah, are making yeah. it into the fight game. So yeah. what is it about rugby that kind of leads you to being at least a little bit prepared to fight? Well, like, I love playing footy, you know, like like rugby. But um, fighting's been in my family. You know, like, my grandfather was, like, a national light heavyweight boxing champion. And my uncles were world kickboxing champions. One of them fought Mark in K1. So it's, it's just in the blood, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You've taken your training camp out to Thailand. It seems like Tiger Muay Thai out yeah, there yeah, is, is, yeah. is really becoming a, a, a super camp of yeah, sorts. What's, what's it like out there now? Man, it's awesome. You know, I get to work with Frank and uh, George Hickman, the Hickman bros, and also Glenn, who's going to be cornering me. Like, it's just a good atmosphere. Everyone's just trying to get better, get all different looks from around the world, man. It's just like, you can't explain it. Unless you get it yourself and you see the environment that's there and the energy that everyone brings, man. Everyone's just trying to, trying to get better, man. It only helps yourself. Yeah. Talk about the matchup. You know, as you said, you were thinking about going on the contenders. That was kind of the plan. You saw Jorgen come through the contenders. I mean, he's still relatively new in his career, too. Yeah. So what, what do you think about him overall as an opponent? Man, he's all right. You know, like, he's got a good good kick to him. I think it'll be, it'll be a fun fight, man. Like, if he wants to bang, I'm like, I'm ready to bang. You know, like, I've spotted guys like Mark and Bam Bam and, uh, and Tyson and all that, so... And I'm Samoan, bro, so it's in our blood to rumble, man. If you've seen Sifu and Hunt, it's in our blood, so. Either way, bro, like, I know he, want, he, he wants to win, but it's not going to be happening, bro. It's going to be the first time a lot of people see you fight, obviously. Yeah. I mean, looking at your record, 3-0, three, no, three KOs, I think people could probably infer that you're somebody that's going to bring some excitement that's going to come looking to finish yeah. the fight. But if they haven't seen you, what, what type of fighter are you? Yeah, like, a, I don't know, man, like... I'll just say I'm a striker. I want to knock guys out, you know. That, that, at the end of the day, I just want to knock this guy out. I just want to see him go stiff, you know, like, walk off. That's, that's all I want to do. 
what overall is is your goal in this fight? I mean, obviously, of course, it's to win. Yeah. But I mean, is this something where like you want to come and explode on the stage and show yeah. like I'm this new contender, or is this more like, hey, let me let me get in there, let me prove I belong at this level, let me yeah. prove to myself? I mean, when you think about this, other than just winning, I yeah. mean, what's the goal here? Well, for me, it's it's I want a good impression, you know. I want people to see that I'm not just your typical banger. Like I do have a, a all around the game. I do have a good cardio tank. So it's going to be like, damn, this someone's got some cardio. You know, they're going to be like, oh shit, this guy's got some cardio. Might call me Justin Covington or something. Nah. <laughs> something like that, man. Like, you're going to see all around the game. You're going to see some good, some good volume, bro, some good power. It's just going to be like, damn, this guy deserves, this guy deserves to be here. And this is why he's on the main card now. I was going to say, I mean, so you've, you've imagined this moment now. It's on the main card. I mean, I can't imagine a bigger debut than this <laughs> pay per view, main card, stadium yeah. show. I know you're planning on getting your hand raised. What do you think? Are we going to see, you know, as you said, a tactical affair, a good battle back and forth? Or do you feel like you can go out and dominate and get your hand yeah. raised quick? What, what do we see? Well, to, like, to be honest, I don't know. You know, like, I don't chase the knockout because that's when you start, you know, throwing your game plan out the window. I want to be like a, I don't know, it's like a cerebral assassin, bro. I'm just gonna, I'm going to break this guy down and then he's going to give me his chin and then he's going to go to sleep.